Let's talk about our climate in crisis, where researchers are now turning to regular people like us, possibly, to better understand environmental trends. Joining us now is our meteorologist, VNA Arana. And VNA, it's called Citizen Science. What is that? Mm -hmm. Well, think of it like this it's enthusiastic people. We like to call here at NBC Bay Area like our weather watchers, right? People mm -hmm. that send us yeah. images of the sky, things like that. But now what's happening is, is those images that are captured, the information that is captured from the general public, is being used by science scientists to further research in things like special projects. So a recent study by Scripps Oceanography looked at how effective citizen science info is compared to, let's say, the traditionally structured survey data. They focus on volunteer scuba diver observations using two methods, the Reef Volunteer Fish Survey Project, where people actually dive in to capture data, and a NOAA fish population survey. Now, I spoke with one of the lead researchers, and he says that he was quite pleased by the Info he found. And ultimately, what we found is that these citizen scientists that weren't paid to collect data, they just collected data over the course of their normal diving recreation, uh, actually generated very, very powerful information. And, and to such an extent that the, the, the information we gathered from those citizen science data were comparable in terms of their quality to what uh, federal scientists were generating. And you heard him mention their quality. Now, a lot of this dates back to about 30 years. Now, if you too have an interest in helping, all you need to do is use your smartphone. Now, there's a global project called COSTAP. That's what you're seeing on your screen there. It originated in Australia in 2017, but it has a number of locations throughout, including the Scripps campus in San Diego. They use the photos that you take to better understand how the coast is changing due to storm sea level rise and of course human activity and we're hoping that the bay area is next as far as the location for that particular project but he also shared with me a number of websites that you can visit for example let's say you enjoy watching birds and right. you like taking photos of birds there is a citizen scientist application for that where you can download your photos and of course here at NBC bay area always tag us in your sunrise photos your storm photos we greatly enjoy them we also use them to verify the information right we we could say, hey, look, so-and-so lives in Sunnyvale and it is raining outside right. their door. That is verified forecast, so we right. always greatly appreciate it. Yeah, the more data, the better. Absolutely. I guess all the links, too, if you want to Yes, we'll include them in the Climate and Crisis tab along with the story. Okay, thanks, VNA.